Now we will start the lamp lighting. Kaliya Prasad, Swagat. Sayali Ji. principles in her cosmetic way and that is such a special and important thing. Those traditional uh, practices will be part of her cosmetic branch. So she's uh, marrying together tradition, ancient science with modern science as well. And I think that is a wonderful thing, bringing together again India and Queensland through this cosmetic scheme. So Dr Tanya, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of our government uh, and the people of our state to congratulate you and to wish you well on this new endeavour. Uh, we're very proud of what you've been able to achieve. And I wanted to acknowledge finally, in my concluding remarks to people, I wanted to acknowledge the team from Trade Investment Queensland. Can you come forward, Avana? Avana Bhadia is our Senior Trade Commissioner, and his team here has done so much work to support companies like Dr. Dr. Tanya, and we're very grateful for his work. and. We will support any Indian company that wants to invest or export to Queensland, just as we will support any Queensland company that wishes to invest and export to India. So I want to acknowledge uh, Abhinav and his team for everything they've done here uh, for Dr. Tanya. And I also wanted to acknowledge uh, Dr. Tanya's mother, who's with us today as well. I know how proud uh, Dr. Tanya's mother is of her as well. This is a wonderful day for your family. Thank you. And uh, my time here in India has reinforced to me the value of family bonds, uh, which are so important in this culture as it is in our culture back in Queensland. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for being here today. And can I ask you to put your hands together for a great Queenslander and a great Indian, Dr. Tanner. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, a big round of applause. His Excellency, uh, Mr. Cameron Dick, the President of Queensland, Dr. Tanya, Ms. Sayali Bhagat, friends, good morning and namaskar. I'm delighted to be here in Mumbai today for this event and let me take this opportunity to welcome Excellency Mr. Cameron Dick to Mumbai, the city of dreams and the key financial centre of India. It's a pleasure having you here in India, I am happy that this event comes immediately after the successful visit of the Prime Minister of Australia to India. I take this opportunity to appreciate Dr. Tanya Uni for taking up this project on the principles of Ayurveda, that's the traditional medicine of India. Ayurveda is closely linked to nature and the environment and finds rich mention in the ancient texts of India. Ayurveda leads to good health and a long life. It's a holistic human science and symbol of the thousands of years of India's traditional knowledge. Ayurveda is for the entire humanity. That's why we believe in Vasudeva Kutupaga and as you know, this year, when India is having the, adorning the presidency of the G20, our Prime Minister has given the motto of one world, one family, one future. So the entire humanity is linked together. That's the slogan that India wants to give. And that's the slogan that India has been believing in. That's why I said that Vasudeva Kutumbakam is the motto of India. India is home to Ayurveda and is a treasure trove of herbal plants and it is our green gold. 
we use this natural wealth in the interest of humanity, the government is continuously encouraging the production and promotion of herbal and medicinal plants. The government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has set up a national Ayush mission. This mission aims to promote Ayush medical systems, including Ayurveda, through cost-effective means. It's also working to strengthen educational systems and facilitate enforcement of quality control of all forms of medicine, including Ayurveda, Siddha, Unani, and homeopathy drugs, and ensuring sustainable availability of raw materials. Call given by the Honorable Prime Minister and putting in effort to see that the, the work goes on on evidence-based medical sciences. Ayurveda has to prove to the world and has is, is already proving to the world that it is, it is an evidence-based science. So now the, the in the field of cosmeceuticals, now she has initiated this uh, uh, new entrepreneurship, new venture, and which is uh, the associated with health and wellness industries across the globe. Ayurveda is known for that. So the the cosmeceutical industry, which is being uh, initiated by Dr. Tanya, I am sure that will go a long way in developing the uh, trade and investment between India and Australia. And India and Queensland, we have very good cooperation. During the last uh, year, there has been a, an understanding, an announcement, there will be a summit level annual meetings between the Prime Ministers of India and Australia. And very recently, the, the Honorable Prime Minister, His Excellency, Anthony Albanese had his very successful visit to India. He came over to see the cricket match also. So it was cricket, culture and commerce. As your Excellency mentioned, because he arrived on the day of Holi. So when he arrived on the day of Holi, he had his whole face uh, smeared with colors uh, to welcome him. So I am sure that uh, this, uh, uh, Your Excellency's visit to India from Queensland and Dr. Tanya initiating such a venture that will definitely uh, be another milestone in increasing, enhancing the trade, investment and people-to-people -people connect between India and Australia and especially with India and Queensland. With these words, let me offer my best wishes to Dr. Tanya and also thank Excellency Cameron Dick, the Treasurer of Queensland and other delegates who are here to join this great function. All the best to all. Thank you so much. A very good afternoon to all of you, Honorable Ministers on the dais, Dr. Tanya, my very dear press friends, and all the guests who are present here. This is my second decade in the beauty industry. I started my journey as a teenager, as a Miss India. So I'm usually hobnobbing with a lot of uh, people from this industry. Support dynamic, passionate, and energetic entrepreneurs like Dr. Tandy. And I also wanted to uh, express how honoured we are to have you here today, uh, Minister Murali Dara. It's very uh, important for our state and our nation that someone of your status uh, honours us with your presence here today. We're very grateful that you could be here today. We're also grateful there is some genuine star power here at the other end of the uh, table, at the other end of the platform, and we thank you, Ms. Baker, for being here with us as well. The relationship between India and Queensland has never been stronger. Although Australia doesn't perform that well on the cricket field, we do perform well when it comes to commerce. And I had the great privilege of 
attending the one day cricket match on Friday here in Mumbai when Australia lost again. Um, but today we celebrate great courage, great enthusiasm and great passion. Dr Tanya has contributed so much to our state. Uh, Dr Tanya and her husband Amir are medical practitioners in our state. Uh, they are leading when it comes to the delivery of general practice on the Gold Coast, one of our great cities. And now Dr Tanya has taken another step forward, another courageous step to establish a wonderful cosmetics company. And I, I can't speak highly enough of my interactions with Dr Tanya and her passion and her commitment. She is a very genuine, dedicated businesswoman and is a leader, an acknowledged leader in our community. She's received so many awards uh, from uh, the business community in Queensland because of her genuineness, because of her authenticity, and because of her commitment to growing the business. So today we celebrate... Namaste, Namaskaram. Good morning. First of all, thank you so much for coming here. It's an absolute honour to be here. For me, when I landed in Mumbai just a few days ago, and when I took the first breath of air here, it just, everything felt right, and I felt this is where I belong, my soul belongs here. I started my life journey as a little girl in my birth country, my motherland, that's India. So from here, as a little girl, I set out to the world to explore, to learn, to gain knowledge. And here I am right now, standing in front of you with gaining the knowledge, training, skills, evidence-based medicine, and yet bringing not only that, but bringing the true essence of what I believe, what I practice, and what I want to deliver to the world is the science of Indian potent medicine that is Ayurveda. So I want to bring the combination of Ayurvedic practices, Ayurvedic rituals in the skin line along with strongly supported medical evidence. So there, that's, that's the reason I'm here. As a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur, I have to say this. It feels coming here to India that everything the government has been um, has been supporting, celebrating new businesses, celebrating entrepreneurs, celebrating um, the journey of uh, people who started with just really only a dream and wanting to make it big. There is no better place in the world, in the planet, that such dreams can come as reality. And that is part, that's the power of India. This is the powerhouse. And I really want to thank, I'm ever so grateful to the government of India to create such amazing opportunities and platform and welcome businesses like us, Australian businesses like us, to be here, to try here, and to be a small part of the big thing. Thank you, Narendra Modi ji, for the amazing work and the policies and the constant effort in supporting businesses and new business ventures. I want to extend my deepest gratitude for the outstanding support and encouragement that our Honourable Minister Wei Murlita himself has provided to us, our team, and gave us the confidence in believing in India, in believing India as Australia's friend. And that really has grown for me from strength to strength. So without the support of great leaders and great role models like Sri Murlita and Sir and his amazing team from the government. I don't think such an event would be even be possible for me because I would be quite nervous about the outcomes because it is it is my motherland that I have been away 
I've been in Australia, did my training there to come back here and to understand, to realize there is still there is there's still a belief of um, having so supporting the new business is a great feeling. I'm standing here not just as a person of Indian origin. I'm here as a proud Australian and a proud Queenslander. I'm really happy to say that I have now called Queensland my new home, my homeland. If, if it wasn't Australia as a country with the policies and practices as well as the support and encouragement from Queensland, state of Queensland, the government. Someone like me, of multicultural origin, Indian origin person, wouldn't be here standing right in front of you and be able to talk about not just a business, but also growing a brand from, from zero. So it is the strength and the confidence the government and Australia has seen my journey as a GP, as a doctor, going into business owner and in my entrepreneurial journey and being supportive and encouraging throughout. This is the type of support and encouragement that women led businesses get in Australia. Thank you so much and what a great example that I feel this lead for more businesses to come here to be a part of the Indian dream, to be a part of the growth of India. And I, I am very confident people will be watching this story. Through you, people will be watching what we are able to do. As women in business, as multicultural Australian women in business, to be able to come back here and deliver. Thank you so much. And before I finish, I really want to say one last thing. The Trade and Investment Queensland team has been so supportive. Thank you so much for everything that you have been. Thank you, Dr. Thank Tanya, you. for the wonderful words. A big round of applause for Dr. Tanya. One thing, when I came here, there's one song that's playing in my head. That is, Garaja Paradeshi Tere Tesh Kulare. Wow, kya baat hai. A big round of applause. Uh, now, I will request Dr. Tanya to Honorable yeah. Minister Dick, Mr. Dick Cameron. A big round of applause, sir. And thank you for coming here, taking out the precious time. Also, I would request Dr. Tanya to welcome Honorable yeah, Minister, yeah, yeah. Honorable yeah. Union Minister, Murli Dharanji. Thank you, Murli Dharanji, for taking out this precious time. You have been very happy to have you here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. A big round of applause. Tanya, Murli Nechi, Dostov, Tanya, Masti Rane Chi. Also, I would request Dr. Tanya to welcome the beautiful Bollywood actress, Sayali Bhagat. A big round of applause, Sayali. Also, we would like to present, yes, Dr. Tanya will present a bag to Siali Ji of these wonderful products from Soy and wish Dr. Tanya all the best and uh, we thank Dr. Uh, Siali Ji for taking out a precious time and she took a night flight I must tell you, she landed at 3 a.m. in the morning and 7 o'clock she was up. So a big round of applause for this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful lady. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Over to you, Indy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for this uh, great invitation to be here today and to celebrate a great Queensland Indian and a great Indian Queenslander, Dr. Tan. This is my subject. <laughs> and I have seen a huge shift in the second decade of this beauty industry. As an Indian woman, I can say, and you will also agree with me, that initially we would use maybe three or four, and later maybe came the face wash, so maybe five products, beauty products, every day. Yes, yes Auntie? Yes, yes, sure. All, all the women agree? Somewhere in the teenage, of course, the face wash was there. And then we come get this soap-free whole 
product line that came in. And now you'll be surprised, and I say this with statistics because I'm usually in so many of these beauty and uh, makeup expos, that our products have certainly increased and have crossed 20. Our makeup products, wouldn't you agree it would just possibly be the um, eyeliner, a foundation, not even a foundation, maybe a compact powder and a lipstick. And now we have special cases for makeup. So you would agree that um, beauty industry has changed. And Dr. Tanya, you're here at the right time. And of course, as um, everything that has imparted knowledge, we all believe in Ayurveda, We've all grown up seeing our grandmothers use something or recommend something. It's been there for centuries. But which is the right one? What is the right way? Is it tested? Is it certain? You know that we're investing so much of our time, of our research, and our money in these products. And if this research, this time, everything is invested by Dr. Tanya, I know that I'm going to Tanya for sure. <laughs> so this is, this is, this, these were my two cents as um, somebody who's been a visitor and has been an actor. Um, as a part of my profile also includes being a philanthropist and an entrepreneur. I would like to say that Dr. Tanya, I'm mildly jealous, honestly. I did mention that uh, <laughs> to, to Honorable Minister Cameroon here that uh, I'm mildly jealous of Tanya that she has like a whole arsenal of an army of, of people backing her out there. You know, there, there there's so many women, entrepreneurs, small, medium, they're somewhere in their houses just shy and coy and maybe wanting just possibly their family to support them a little bit. And here she comes with this whole army. You know, and so I think this is not just the right time for the product, Dr. Tanya, this is also the right time for you. And um, thank you so much to uh, Minister Murli Dharan and uh, Minister Cameroon for coming here to support women. Thank you. I couldn't be thankful and, and, and I couldn't say this enough, how much especially Indian women need to be picked out of there and say, babe, you've got talent. A woman, dear woman, you have talent out there. You know something that the world needs. I work with so many of them and I know we could use this help. And if men of such stature are offering this help, I think this is an example. I'm sure my press friends will take our message ahead and this will encourage all the women out there in India, all the doctors out there in India to be somebody like Dr. Tanya. Dr. Tanya, we wish you all the very best. May, may this whole room, this whole uh, universe conspire and manifest all, all that you have dreamed for your brand. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more video updates, visit our channel Saffron's News Network. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.